Mike Sorg, Basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Say hi out there. And look out, if you if you follow me on Facebook personally, uh, even if you just subscribe to me, I maybe not friend everybody back, but uh, I'm playing with these Facebook Lives. You can join me live. Say hi as I do these, uh, usually late at night, um, Yeah, Mondays and Tuesday nights. When we roll these out throughout the week, that's when my thinky cap is on, and we talk about well, whatever it is that we talk about on these shows. Today, it's going to be about uh, education to a certain extent. So, education. We're doing a lot of stuff. We're doing. Uh, we're trying to build up this uh, some concepts, some sidekick media services concepts, an educational series. Just did one on Insta content, talking about Periscope, Snapchat, and the like. We're doing one here coming up about Squarespace. Um, and, 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 and I go back to a talk from Refresh Pittsburgh, and I can't recall the, the company in particular. I hope I can remember to link it later. But uh, they talked about, I think they were in Columbus, and they talked about this process of education that they did. It was sort of like an internship program, but not necessarily connected to school. It was the idea that they bring these people on, as sort of educated uh, learning outcome kind of thing. And there's the carrot that they may hire them, of course. And they're getting paid for their time. And they're building these skills because they were doing um, some semblance of coding and web design and, and development, online development, uh, multimedia, not multimedia, but more web development, right? And they were finding that they weren't having people come out of school ready with these skills. Nobody was teaching these skills. The, school, the, the schools, in my observance, have been very, were very difficult and slow motion and glacial in catching up to employers' demands. We're talking, to, talking technologies. Like, we need somebody to be in this language and to be able to do this and be able to pull these pieces together. Uh, in order to make this kind of website or work with this sort of team. And you can't go to X school and say, yeah, I'll be good coming out of this. This is why we got great concepts like Code Academy coming out of Allentown here in Pittsburgh, where I'm going to learn a thing, and it's going to be the thing that that's, doesn't have to go through this approval process of, of a school, of, a, of an educational system, and say, this is the thing these people need to get for you to hire them. And it makes that direct connection at the end of it. We're going to talk with Josh Lucas here in the coming weeks with awesome chat about that concept and kind of poke at that a little bit. So you have to create your own people. And one cool thing was, no, they may not hire everybody out of there, whether opportunity arises or anything like that. But what they're creating also are people that they're going to be working with in industry. People will leave their program and get hired by their partners, their, even sometimes their competitors, but still people that they may interface with out there in the world. And now they're talking in the same language. I mean, uh, a perfect example, you know, think about how uh, coders and graphic designers don't really speak the same technical language. So, so it's hard to convey one thing to another. Uh, you know, if, if they're, you know, get hired by another client that now they're doing work with, they know how this company works. They know the language of this company. They know the output of this company. And now you've created allies in the industry. To a smaller extent, I feel like that's what we're doing a little bit here with Sogatron Media. Um, we have a lot of projects. We have a lot of, I just call them kind of collaborative projects here, um, whether it be uh, helping our friends do podcasting, helping our friends figure out some video components. Um, I've talked about, I believe previously on this, my friends are stars. I want to get people to a point where they are figuring out what their talent is and creating a thing. I want everybody on the team that to get to the point where they are, you know, you know I'm a big on the following and the passion idea where they're making money out of, of they're making their living or they're making a, 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 hobby or whatever the case may be other way they're fulfilling um something that makes them happy right um in a creative capacity so that turns into people that you know i i gave one you know one guy a spare computer and threw iMovie on it it says here can you would you like to poke at this could you help me with some videos right and now it's getting to the point where he's starting to get some gigs and now he's doing so good with the videos man i need to find this guy a better computer so i can give him final cut and see what he can do 
to the point where I might have another video editor on my hands that I didn't before, that didn't go to school for this, but is rediscovering a passion that I know he, we shared in high school about that. Um, or even these workshops that we're doing, where we're showing people, you know, hey, here's how you use Squarespace. Hey, here's how you do this. Hey, here's how this happens. Maybe it's a client that learns enough about Twitter, but then determines they can't handle a Twitter account, whether it be time, resources, whatever the case may be. They know enough about that and that we're the experts in that, that they can come back around and maybe they become a client or maybe they be, become somebody that we educate somebody for them on how to operate their accounts, their presence online. And now, again, we're bridging that gap in the language, right? We're educating people to become our partners, our clients, our collaborators, maybe in the future, right? I think that's really important. And, 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 and you know, kind of expanding on in, in other looser ways from this original concept I learned at Refresh Pittsburgh, it got my mind tickling on these ideas. That's why I love the idea of Slack and everybody's in there and talking with each other. We just started bringing some people in that weren't direct collab collaborators with us currently. On on They're not doing shows with us. They're not doing productions with us currently. But they're people that I often have conversations with or have done a podcast with or hosted or been on or whatever the case may be over the years. People I find creative uh, colleagues, peers. So I brought them in, hopefully inspire some of the people that we have going on here and be part of that mix, this closed, open, exclusive group um, of people to, 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 to poke at and, 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 and try to look at things a different way. And again, trying to create people that are speaking the same language to help build something up, right? Like these people, maybe they're listening to this and, and are potentially interested in this in my Facebook Live group right now. They're popping up here at 1241 in the evening on a Wednesday morning. That was that was the wrong thing to say. So look at that. You know, while you may not find a direct benefit in, in educating the people around you and getting interns or anything like that, you're you're educating people to the way you're doing things and the way you're finding success with things to hopefully build that bigger like-minded army that can help you and in turn help them further down the line. So think of that, think about that kind of educational side of things. Maybe if you have something that you're creating and going back to the podcast pod camp idea that I've reiterated that somebody told me a wise man named Justin Kanaki, uh, you always know more than somebody else. So you can be an educator. Good point. Whether you charge for that is a whole other question. We'll have an episode on at some other time, but not now. So I got to go edit things. Thank you so much for joining me. Basic Sorgonomics, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletters. Look for information on our next group talking about Squarespace and how you can build your website pretty easily. Coming up here, webinar and workshop modes here in Pittsburgh. Thank you so much for joining us. See you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.